gatto. Ooh, where's the cat? Si, no es un pastel de un gatto. Is he? It's picture day. Oh, as a as a bien de fotos. about what those different answers would look like. Bad idea. 
We don't have an option. There was 22 of you. <laughs> Everyone had a partner. Yeah. You should be looking for partners right now. So if you still need a partner, raise your hand. I said three partners, but then I'm going to have you two switch spots. You and, you and Maddie switch spots. No, but don't you stay there. Jada, I'm going to have you come up and sit next to Maddie over here. Wait. Noah's your partner? Okay. Noah and Isaac, I'm going to have you switch spots. Sorry, musical chairs. It'll make more sense this way. No. Okay. So between you and your partner, figure out who partner A is gonna be and who partner B is gonna be go. What are you supposed to do when I'm doing this? Do this also and turn your voice off. All right, raise your hand if you partner A. Raise your hand if partner B. Okay, on your paper in front of you, it says partner's name, so you should write your partner's name down. As long as I can read it. And please put the date in the class on there. <laughs> All right, here we go. Partner A, first question is for you. So partner B, you're listening to their answer and you're trying to get them to tell you more. So if they're like, C. Give them a little motion to encourage them to say more. Okay, you're trying to get them to get as many points as possible. I would like all of you to get 100% or better. Alright, here we go, partner in. Qual es el talento especial de James? Oh, baby! Just need 
with those moths, Papa Actividades. All right, partner, right back to you. So make sure you were marking your points for your partner. Check in to make sure that you're in agreement, and then we're moving on. All right, partner. Right. Qual es el deporte favorito de Trey? Three, two, 
right, Carter B, last question. Last question. ¿Cuál es el nombre de James? ¿Cómo se llama James? Second half 
I know it kind of runs out at the bottom, but those are how you say I with a lot of those different things. Okay, so you can use the posters to help you with your spelling. Spelling does not need to be perfect as long as I can tell what word you're trying to say. Okay? Noah? So, can I like write about myself and like talk about myself in third person? No. Just talk about yourself. Mm -hmm. Or write about yourself in third person, but you don't need to do both. In Spanish, don't stop, don't give up. And think of it in your head before you write it on the paper. Are there any more questions? I'm guessing that you're not going to be able to write about yourself for 10 minutes. Oh, 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. That's why we have more options. You can also talk about important things that are happening on the calendar, especially if they relate to any of these people. Any of those kinds of things would be good. Okay? Any questions? All right, 10 minutes. Starts now. Only one muy. No muy, 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 interesante. One muy. Uh, Skip lines or not, it does not matter to me. job, keep it up. If you get stuck writing about one person, just get to the next person. Talk about yourself, talk about someone else in here. Talk about the calendar. First graders, if you can please head back to your homeroom so that you can go down for pictures. Again, first graders, please go to your homeroom classes so that you can go to the gym for pictures.
up about them. I won't know.
30 seconds.